Your fire detect system is easy to install in just six steps. First, attach the cylinder assembly. Then, install the sensor tubing system. Three, attach an end of line device. Four, install the discharge tubing system. Five, connect tubing to the valve. And finally, pressurize the sensor tube and arm the system. To get started, confirm that you have all pieces of the Fire Detect kit in place and make sure you have the necessary tools for the installation. Plus, be sure to turn off any electricity before you start. Begin by mounting the cylinder bracket between hip and eye level on either side of the electrical cabinet or on an immediately adjacent wall. Be sure the wall or panel is capable of holding at least 20 kilograms of weight. Next, insert the charged cylinder valve assembly into the bracket and tighten the bands. Be sure that the discharge port is facing outwards. About 10 meters of special fire detect sensor tubing needs to be woven back and forth throughout the protection zone in wide loops. Since heat rises, it is important to place the heat sensitive tubing above the circuitry as close to the wires as possible. Be sure not to crease or crush the tube at any time, as this can cause leaks. You will want to firmly attach the sensor tubing by placing a clip about every 40 centimeters. Install the end of line device out of the way, yet some place you can reach easily when pressurizing the tube and reading the pressure gauge. Attach the sensor tubing by inserting the tube into the fitting and tightening it. The end of line device can be attached to the cabinet wall with a self-adhesive bracket. The discharge system consists of the discharge tubing, fittings, and the nozzle. Start by identifying where you would like to place the nozzle. Ideally, it should be placed on the enclosure ceiling in the center, or if that is not practical, then on the side pointing towards the center. The discharge tubing is normally installed outside the cabinet. Measure and cut the tubing to length and join the pieces using the appropriate tube fittings. Clips must be used about every 40 to 50 centimeters to avoid displacement during discharge. Attach the nozzle to the tubing via a special adapter fitting. Now connect the sensor tube and discharge tube to the cylinder valve. Screw the tubes into their respective ports on the cylinder valve and wrench tighten. Take a charging cylinder filled to 16 to 20 bar with either nitrogen or CO2 and a special filling adapter. Attach the filling adapter by unscrewing the pressure gauge in the end of line device. Connect the charging cylinder to the filling adapter and open the valve. The tube will pressurize instantly. Then close the cylinder valve and unplug the filling adapter coupling and replace the gauge. The pressure gauge needle should now be in the green zone, indicating that the sensor tubing is properly charged. You may now open the cylinder valve. Congratulations! Your fire detect system is now successfully installed and fully armed you'll enjoy years of extra protection to help keep your vital electrical equipment running.